Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I am unboxing the first portion of our new curriculum for the upcoming school year. This is going to be for the school year 2019-2020, which just sounds so crazy to be saying that. Now I know people are gonna go, wait, what? It's only March when you guys are seeing this. Why are you getting curriculum? Well, I'm getting curriculum because I year round school. And so we only have four weeks left until we're done with this school year. And combining that with a um, with wanting to take uh, about a six week break um, before we move into our next school year, I like to get all my curriculum shopping done ahead of time. So that way when I'm on break, I am um, getting my materials organized and familiar with them and making copies of things and setting kids up with their schedules and getting all that prepared. And in order for me to do that, I need to have all the curriculum. So today I'm going to be unboxing my curriculum for the upcoming school year from the good and the beautiful. Um, that's all I'm gonna be showing you guys today. All the other things that I'm gonna be purchasing, um, for example, math and um, different Bible things, I'm gonna be incorporating as well as some readers and a few other little pieces. I will show you guys in my videos that will come out um, per grade level. So it'll say like seventh grade homeschooling curriculum. You know, those videos will show you specifically what each child of mine is going to be using if you're interested in that. Um, but today we're just gonna be unboxing what I got from The Good and the Beautiful. And I've got my two boxes here right next to me. So I'm just gonna unpack it and show you guys. If you have any questions about The Good and the Beautiful, you can post them down in the comments of this video. I'll be happy to answer them. I also have a whole host of videos. I actually have a complete playlist dedicated to The Good and the Beautiful curriculum here on my channel, which this video will be under. Um, so you can go ahead and watch the other videos if you wanna see what I used last year, etc. cetera. Um, but like I said, this is for our upcoming year because we are almost done with this school year and then I need to start planning and preparing for the upcoming year. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna dig into the box. Um, I haven't, like it's all wrapped. <laughs> I haven't even taken any of it out. So I'm unboxing this uh, with you guys and they really package it so well. And I appreciate that so that nothing gets damaged. Sorry about the packing noise. Um, if you guys don't like that, sorry, there's going to be lots of it in this video. Um, I wanted to do this on camera versus like take it all out and show you guys. Okay. So this is the level six language, um, language arts. Uh, so it comes with the reader and in these little, um, bags here. So we have the level six reader. We have the level six course book. And we have the answer key, as well as the geography and grammar cards. Um, my oldest daughter used this course this year, so I already know how fantastic that is. It's for my next one in line, my son. So really excited that he gets to use that. Next one. Here. All right. It's another language arts course. And by the color of this book, I'm guessing this is the one that I have not used yet. Uh, yes, it is level seven. So it comes to with, let's open it up and see. The level seven has a favorite classics reader and it's not spiral bound. This one is um, like a just has a spine. Uh, this, we've got the grammar cards again. We've got the daily checklist, notes and instructions. Gives them a little checklist to see uh, what they need to be completing every day. We've got the course companion for level seven. I saved my course companion of level five just because the grammar instructions in there, I'm like, I'm gonna need to reference this again, so I'm just keeping it. And then we have the level seven course book that is yellow. So that is for my oldest. And next in this box, 
another <laughs> package here. We've got, let's see. I think this is another one that I haven't used yet. Another level that I haven't used. Yep, it's level two. So this year, this past year, I used level one, level three, level five, and level six. Um, so I've never used a level two, but it comes with the reader and then the course book here and then the course companion and the phonics cards for level two. So that is for my youngest. She's going to love that. I have absolutely adored level one. Uh, my daughter went from barely like reading Bob books like the cat sat she is infinitely beyond that in a school year and I credit a lot of that to the good and beautiful curriculum which is so exciting as a mom all right next box we've got a big bundle here I think these are all my science units that we're going to be doing this year minus marine biology because I already have that um, we are going to be doing more science this year. Last year I only did, let's see, we did kingdoms and classifications. Sorry guys, the noise. <gasps> we did kingdoms and classifications, safety, um, arthropods. That's what we did. We did three units. Um, this year, this upcoming year, we're going to do a little bit more than that. So the first thing we have is meteorology. And I'm going to get all of these spiral bound at office max like I always do. And then we have energy because those kind of go together. Um, this is going to be with my older kiddos, chemistry, beginning chemistry. Uh, we have typing three for my older three kids. They all did typing one and typing two this year. My youngest wanted to do typing, um, but it was just too hard for her. Her fingers are still really small, and so she she was having a hard time. So what we did was we just did like reading eggs, and um, we did, uh, what's the other one? ABC Mouse, so she could practice on the computer. But this coming year, my older three will be using typing three, and I think she'll be okay to do typing uh, one this year. Um, okay, then we have handwriting, level six level five, and level four. So you'll notice I only have three of these. My oldest, who is now in seventh grade, going into seventh grade, which is like mind-blowing, boggling to me, has finally advanced out of handwriting. She doesn't have a handwriting book this year. It's like a homeschooling mom milestone when your kids don't need to handwrite practice anymore. You're like, wow, I really am teaching big kids here. Okay, next bundle we've got it's like Christmas, just like ripping into these. I feel like I should show it to you so you can see how much muscle it takes. These are new. I'm really excited about these. Not new to the website, but they're new to me. Uh, they're the, I think, yeah. Well, one of them is kind of new. Okay, it's the Creative Writing Notebook. So excited about these, you guys. Like, look at how beautiful the insides of these things are. Loved it. We have the the Creative Writing Notebooks 1. Um, we did those this year. Can't wait for these. Uh, now, these are not new to the website, but they're new to me. They're the Nature Notebooks. We are going to make good use of these. So awesome. These little, um, like, prompts in here are just going to be so good for us. So I have four of these for all of my kiddos. Now the last little thing in here that I have to open up with you guys and then my box is empty is gonna be history. History. So let's open her up and see what, what, oh wait, did, did it get put together? I thought it was gonna be history. Okay, well this is a new level of language arts on the top that I didn't know. 
So it is obviously a different day, um, but the last piece of my curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful was shipped separately, and so it wasn't in the box um, when I started unboxing that, and I didn't know that until I started filming because I hadn't looked through it. So the last piece that I want to share with you guys for my unboxing is history year two, um, and... I'm gonna open up the bag and show you what comes inside. So we did history year one this year and we loved it. Okay, so this I've seen other people post about and before I knew what each course included, I actually emailed The Good and the Beautiful and said, how can I get that timeline? Well, it comes with the year two uh, course. So, so excited to have that. Then we have maps and images. This um, book is awesome. I loved the bit, just all these different locations throughout the world. I loved the big book of um, his of stories that came with the year one. So I know we're gonna love that. Then of course you get your course book. And just briefly, I just wanna see. Okay, so in this, year you study ancient Greece and ancient Asia, Vikings and the pre-Columbian America, colonial America and the U.S. Constitution, and the history of U.S. education in World War I through the Great Depression. So, so excited about that. I never liked history in school and I also never really liked teaching it until I started using the good and the beautiful. And the last thing in the little bag are, um, is another game. We kept our keys of history games, so we're gonna continue to use that. But these are explorers and settlers, and um, obviously I don't know how to play it yet, but there's images on the cards of different people, like Lewis and Clark is on the top, and then um, let's see who else is in here just really quickly. Uh, then it gives like clues to name who the person is. So my kids are going to love this. We loved having that game component of our history and um, it really did help with them remembering those important historical times and figures. So that is going to be the end of my unboxing from the good and the beautiful. Like I said, I will do a another video once I get the remainder of the curriculum that I will be using for the next school year, the math, our Bible, um, all that stuff. More videos will be coming, but this is the start of them. So if you like my curriculum videos and you like me sharing what we're using in our homeschool, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to grab any of this for your homeschool, the, the links will be uh, down in my description box. They are always there and I appreciate you using my links. Um, I don't earn anything from it, but it just um, lets them know that you heard about the curriculum through me. So I appreciate you using them, but I'll see you guys in my next video really, really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.